Hi, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to listen to my lessons this week. Um, this week, I'm trying to encourage everybody to get outside a little bit, if that's okay with your family. And one way that you can get outside in a mindful kind of creative way is by doing what's called a listening walk. So some of you probably remember this story. It's kind of a fun, kind of a fun book. And I'll read it to you. And then my suggestion is that you take a walk with somebody in your family and you tell them while we're walking, don't talk because you're just going to listen. And then you can record what you hear on your listening walk. The Listening Walk by Paul Showers. I like to take walks. I take walks with my father and our dog. Our dog is called Major. He is an old dog and he does not walk very fast. We go down the street and we do not talk. My father puts his hands in his pockets and he thinks. Major walks ahead and sniffs. I keep still and listen. I call this a listening walk. On a listening walk, I do not talk. I listen to all the different sounds. I hear many different sounds when I'm on a listening walk. First, I hear Major's toenails on the sidewalk. Major has long toenails. When he walks, his toenails scratch the sidewalk. They go twick, 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 twick. And I know when you like when you hear this book, you like to make the sounds with me. So feel free to make the sounds with me. I hear my father's shoes on the sidewalk. My father walks slowly and his shoes go dop, 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 dop. I can hear my shoes. I can't hear my shoes. I wear sneakers. Look at your shoes if you're wearing shoes. Do you think that you could hear your shoes while you were walking? When you try it out, you can see if you hear your shoes. I hear all sorts of sounds on a listening walk. I listen to sounds I never listened to before. I listen to lawnmowers. Lawnmowers are noisy. A lawnmower makes a steady zooming sound. It goes like this. Zoom. At this time of year, you might start to hear some lawnmowers. I know I need to get out there and mow the lawn this weekend. I like to listen to the lawn sprinklers. Sprinklers are very quiet. They make different sounds. Some sprinkles are a steady whispering sound. They go like Other sprinklers turn around and around. They go like this. It's kind of fun to run through a sprinkler on a hot day, isn't it? On a listening walk, I can hear cars in the street. They're shiny new cars and they're quiet. They make a soft hmm, but old cars are very noisy. Old cars sound like this. Bracka, 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 bracka. When cars go around a corner too fast, the tires go. And when a car stops quickly, the brakes go. On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sounds. A bicycle ringing, tring, tring, ring, ring. A baby crying, wah, wah, wah. A jet flies over and jets are very noisy when they're overhead. A jet goes whoosh. A boy runs by dribbling a basketball. Bump, 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 bump. A lady hur hurries by us. She's wearing high heels. The lady's high heels go pick buck, pick buck, pick buck, pick buck. A bus is coming and the lady starts to run. Pick, 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 pick. The bus stops. The lady gets on. The bus starts up again. Around the corner, the men are digging up the street. They use a jackhammer. It makes a loud banging sound. Duck, 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 duck. The jackhammer hurts my ears. I put my ears, my hands over my ears as we walk by. Then it's duck, 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 duck. Sometimes my father and I take Major to the park. It's quiet there. It sounds, the sounds in the park are not like the sounds in the street. My father and I walk down a shady path. I do not talk. I listen. 
I listen to my mother, father's shoes on the path. They make a soft sound now. They go, choof, choof, choof. I'm noticing in this picture that there's some flowering trees. So it seems like maybe this book was uh, set in the spring, just like right now we have some flowering trees outside in Madison. I listen to the birds at the park. I like to listen to the pigeons and the ducks. The pigeons fly down to meet us. The pigeons go, proo, 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 proo. At the pond, the ducks are waiting. They want us to feed them. The small ducks swim up close. They turn their heads on one side and look at us. The small ducklings waggle their tails and quack. They say, quack, 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 quack. The big ducks are not so brave. They stay back and swim in circles. The big ducks look at us, but they do not come close. The big ducks say, quack. Sometimes I hear a woodpecker in the park. I have a woodpecker outside of our house, and sometimes I hear the woodpecker outside of my window. It's fun to try to look up in the tree and see if you can spot the woodpecker. The woodpecker sounds like a little hammer. He goes, rat -tat 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 -tat. In the park, I hear crickets in the grass. The crickets go, creak, creak, creak. I hear the wind in the leaves. It whispers, shh. I hear bees in the flowers. Bzzz. It's fun to go on a listening walk. You do not have to go far. You can walk around the block and listen. You can walk around a yard and listen. Or they also went to the park and did a walk in the park. You do not need you do not even have to take a walk to hear sounds. There are sounds everywhere all the time. All you have to do is keep still and listen. So here she is sitting in her room, it looks like. She probably hears her little mouse squeaking. Maybe she hears rain outside. If you look closely, you can see it's raining. She might hear the sound of rain or the sound of wind. Right now, there are sounds you can hear. When you finish this page, close the book and listen. How many different sounds can you hear right now? Close your book and count them. So I'll close the book and give you some suggestions, and then you can try this on your own. So thank you for listening to the story. And I encourage you to get outside and take a walk. And when you take a walk, ask the person that you're with if they'll play the game of a listening walk where nobody talks, maybe for a block or maybe all the way around the block and see if you can notice what you listen. And then I encourage you to come back and draw a picture of your walk. What did you hear or what did you see? It's a good way um, to practice mindfulness when we tune into our senses. Thanks for listening, everybody, and I'll see you again soon.